Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maze on African Motives uh, Still working on A level pure math uh, For Zim's sake um, A level mathematics actually Like, uh, not for Zim's sake guys For all, this is just A level mathematics actually Okay, actually we have got uh, This part which is on trigonometry That we just want to Have a continuation of In fact, it's not a continuation It's a continuation from the videos that we had But this one is the first part that you're going to work on and uh, like I'm just going to put it in a in a simpler way of like revisions and so forth so guys don't forget to be part of the family uh, Mason African Motives by just subscribing and just also sharing our platforms guys to your friends and uh, colleagues uh, there so they can actually uh, benefit from that so I'm just gonna have a basic introduction guys that we need in this case and this basic introduction that we have got is like uh, uh i'm not going to have like basic 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 uh, no it's not going to be like that basic i'm just going to explain what is needed and what is important for for this particular class that i'm talking about all right remember from your trigonometry guys we've got uh, a lot of things the ratios that we just have just talking of uh, trigonometry the first thing that we think of is the ratios as to say there are ratios from your all level mathematics guys when you worked with a right angle triangle there you formulated a lot of ratios so actually from those ratios let, let's just say uh, basic trick ratios all right basic trick ratios so actually these are uh, are you given your formula here yeah, some of these you are given if i'm not mistaken i've actually forgotten your paper guys but you're given anyways from your basic uh triangle this will be your theta let's just say this or theta and we've got our sides and uh, whatever that you've got according to this theta that it we have according to theta all right so the sides are named according to this angle so it's opposite your adjacent and your hypotenuse definitely you go back to your uh socator okay which is this concept here socator and uh, it's very very basic that we, we are talking of that uh, for this time because we just like uh, sine is opposite over hypotenuse that's something like that sine theta is equal to opposite of what over hypotenuse and uh, we move on to the cos which is equivalent to cos theta which is adjacent over what adjacent over the hypotenuse you talk of tan which is tan theta which is equivalent to opposite of what over adjacent yes this is what we have got there but now the question is this is not what it's like you just to know you have to apply them okay so these are the basic ratios that we have got and now we have to add the other three uh for these ones that we have got which is one over sine theta all right one over sine theta gives us a special trick which is referred to as cosec so this is equivalent to cosec theta we are talking of one over cos theta which is equivalent to sec theta okay one over cos it's sec you talk of one over tan theta which is equivalent to cot theta so all you need is to know your identities very very much and uh, just a relationship between these two is actually supposed to be known and much much known because i'm going to talk about this in our classes as we are going to move that sine theta over cos theta is equivalent to tan theta this must be known and if that is the case and we said one over tan theta is cot so it means one over sine over this it means it's cos theta now over sine theta that is going to give us what cot theta that is what you're going to have there all right so what does this how, how is it going to help us definitely like i said i'm going to explain much as we are going to move so this is the first part that you just need to know just your angles and so forth and also the basic special angles that we have in our syllabus actually are they special angles okay they are special angles because they gave us like special angles but now they are no longer special because uh, our calculators remember this we created like when we use those calculators that when you simplify like square root of three it gives you a decimal like that but now our calculators even if i'm to put square root of three it just give me square root of three if it is square root of 27 it can give me an answer that is like a in said form already so the special triangle concept are like now it's not important because 
who is going to know that you are in exam and you used a calculator to simplify cos 60 because it gives you the same answer as someone who didn't use, even use a calculator or who used a calculator so the special angle concept like to me this time doesn't actually sound uh, well with me okay but these were the special angles that you had that uh they the ones that they refer to which is a uh, we are talking of 30 degrees we are talking of 45 degrees we are talking of 60 degrees we are talking of 90 degrees these are the special angles and you just need no even the properties of those angles 180 270 and so forth okay so let's just say uh let's start with this one if this is an isosceles triangle meaning to say this definitely is going to be 45 degrees 45 that's for an isosceles triangle and this will be one on this side they are equal so you can just put this one in one so from your remember your pythagoras theorem you can actually use pythagoras theorem to calculate this third side and you obtain square root of two so that means we can obtain ratios of 45 degrees from this triangle alone we can have ratios of 45 degrees because that's what we have got here so you can actually have the ratio of sine 45 degrees remember we used our soccer tour and we said sine is opposite of our opposite of our hypotenuse which is opposite either way either this one or this one is going to give you the same thing or the same answer there so what am i trying to say it's going to be opposite over uh hypotenuse sorry opposite of hypotenuse i'm going to i'm using this one let's just use this one as our reference angle because they are just the same thing even with this angle here that we have got here it's just one and the same thing so it's opposite over which is one over square root of two so you can actually simplify this from your sets guys it is going to give you square root of two over two remember your sets how you simplify your sets square root of uh, one over square root of two you multiply by square root of two over square to clear the this nominator okay i like some of these areas as you said okay i'm talk about them as we are moving uh these topics uh, and areas i'm just going to explain them and so that you just understand what's happening there so as you are revising and also you must know that sine 45 and cos 45 is actually equal and this we can prove here because cos is adjacent over i bought you so i'm just using this 45 here this is your adjacent which is one this is your hypotenuse which is two so it's one over square root of two so as you can see these two are equal it's just one and the same thing so you can conclude that cos 45 is equal to sine 45 but where is this taken from it's taken i'll explain also these angles later on which are uh we will be talking of core ratios and so forth where we know that cos of theta is equivalent to sine 90 degrees minus theta like that cos of theta is equal to sine 90 degrees minus theta so like i said i'll explain this as we will be moving on and uh, moving on and moving on and moving on but for now this is what is important now all right so this is tan now tan theta which is tan 45 degrees of which you say tan is opposite over this is hypotenuse guys so that you see it clearly see we said opposite over adjacent which is opposite in this case that's your opposite which is one over one which is one so i want you to use your calculator and see if you are going to obtain the same we are going to obtain the same answers depending now with your calculator if you are using dal that one is for those ones who are you who are doing all level not a level guys the dal for, for a level you must have an advanced calculator that is going to help a lot make sure it's a dal which is advanced not the one that you use for whatever or you can maybe have a piece like this one but not because of this light there's too much light so that's why i don't show this calculator but you can actually have a piece like this so that at least it can actually help you the because you're there so i don't want to put where there's much light because there's too much light as you can see but the model there you can actually just find this one okay it's not like this one there are so many guys are it's not like this one okay anyways that's what you're going to have in this case and uh let's see what we had for the angles of the other part which is 60 way they created from so like this is an introduction that i want you to understand these basic angles where are they transformed from and how and what was happening actually from there so this was the actual diagram that we had where you've got uh, this is 60 as 60 as 60 and you had to divide this into two because it is an equilateral triangle so let's just say this is two to 
this is going to be one one remember the properties of an isosceles triangle once you divide the base it is divided into sub two parts like that and uh, that will be the midpoint and you have to calculate this third side from your pythagoras theorem which is going to be c squared which is equal to a squared plus b squared so this is your c squared which is two squared which is equal to uh one squared plus b squared let's just b because we do not know this uh, this one so that will be four minus one squared which is one which is equal to b squared so four minus one that's three which is equal to b squared guys so in order for you to find b we have to introduce the square root so your b is going to be the square root of three here because it was b squared so square root square root both sides b is going to give us square root of what of three so now as i divided this this angle will be subdivided again into two equal parts and this will give us 30 here and this will give us 30. that is where this triangle was taken from so i'm just going to use this triangle now as this i'm just going to take my triangle like this now as this will be my 60 degrees this will be my 30 degrees like this i'm just going to take this right angle triangle now which is this piece because this triangle is the same as this triangle so just working with the half is fine or even you can work with all of it depends with what you want guys all right so we say this is one okay anyways that was you're going to have and these are the angles that we have got here the 60 30 and so forth okay now the question is which ratios can we create from this we are remember you're talking of special angles as you can see you got 30 and, 30 and 60 so we have got values for 30 degrees sine 30 degrees uh cos 30 degrees uh, uh tan 30 degrees in this case which can be created from this triangle and you have to use them later on so sine 30 which is opposite over hypotenuse that's one over two cos 30 that's adjacent over hypotenuse which is square root of three over two tan 30 remember tan that's opposite over adjacent so it's one over square root of three which is equivalent to square root of three over three if i multiply properly there using your concept of what of uh, sets remember from your sets guys all right so the same thing we can do that for 60 degrees so this was for that we can do that for 60 that's sine 60 degrees which is equivalent to sine remember opposite over hypotenuse which is square root of three over two we've got a uh, cos 60 degrees which is the adjacent over the hypotenuse and that is one over two and we've got a uh, tan 60 degrees which is in this case tan which is opposite of adjacent and that is square root of three so noting or seeing a lot of things here we are going to uh see that this sign 30 here cost 80 they actually equal and which means that part that we talked about that cost theta is equivalent to sine 90 degrees man it's actually working because that's what we see if we have got a uh, like for example let's just say cos 60 degrees is going to be equal to sine 90 degrees minus theta this is your theta 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 so 60 60 so it's sine 90 minus 60 which is cos uh 60 degrees is equal to sine 90 minus 60 which is 30 degrees so as you can see cos 60 here sine 30 here there this so you can at the end play around uh these trigonometrical ratios from these special triangles and what is important now is that where you are going to apply and where you are going to apply this is very very important depending with the questions that we have got and also how to know your angles from your quadrants when i'm saying to know your angles from your quadrants this is uh, all right let's just put these angles uh, from quadrants if we say angles guys okay but this is supposed to be uh, ratios all right like we want to see the ratios that are going to be how the ratios are going to be like affected from your quadrants when i'm referring to the quadrants remember guys this is your quadrant here quadrant meaning to say four equal uh, they are equal from 364 90 90 90 90 so that will be four equal parts so each and every quadrant has got uh it's on presentation of angles like from zero degrees to 90 degrees to 180 degrees uh, that is a 270 degrees here and back to 360 each and every we've got a presentation and here 
from this one we are going to use those mnemonics to know which quadrant where course is going to be positive and negative where we're going to use we can even use all students take calculus all stupid teachers copy all students take calculus uh cast you can even take it as cast you can take i don't know uh, guys there's so many ways that all just for you to memorize okay just for you to memorize it's not like uh we are saying teachers they're stupid no we are just saying oh stupid teachers copy just like yeah just like that anyways that's what you're gonna have there so from this concept that we have got um now the question is why am i presenting this way why am i what am i doing okay this is it each and every quadrant is going to have a certain angle where like uh, it's an acute angle that is going to be represented in each and every quadrant and actually I want you to have the basic of this because I'm going to bring this in on it in our other class. I don't know it's going to be our next, but it's going to be another class. I don't know which one, but I'm going to bring this back again to explain much about the relationship of angles between an acute angle, which is found in a quadrant and the actual angle that is found in a quadrant when simplifying angles. But for now, that's what you're going to have. So this one simply means this quadrant is for all ratios they are positive okay all ratios sine tan cos whatever that you talk of they are positive but here it's only sine which is positive which means all the rest they are negative but anything that is connected to sine is positive when i'm saying anything connected to sine like uh, remember we have got uh cosec guys remember cosec we said cosec like cosec alpha is one over one over sine alpha so if sine alpha is positive which means cosec is also positive but here we are just talking of cos tan really just letting cos tan and sine so don't freak out from that one okay then the tan here is, is where it's positive from 180 to 207 meaning to say at this point where tan is positive cos is going to be negative sine is going to be negative and in this quadrant it's for only cos which is positive which means sine is negative tan is negative so like i said guys with the relationship of these quadrants and so forth we can explain as much as we can so that's it guys from Amazon african motives on the introduction of trigonometry the basic part that i want us to just know so that when i'm coming back working on questions and revision identities and so forth you can at least have a basic knowledge of what is happening in this topic so that's what we had guys for all for this is actually a level not all level okay a level mathematics pure maths trigonometry for maths on african motives till we meet again